Hey, Bobby here with Coder Foundry, and I've been working on a self-paced course here at Coder Foundry and teaching classes in Blazor for the last year. And one of the things I run across a lot is tips and tricks that we have come across that help us build apps, either commercially when we're working for customer clients or help our students build their apps during our class. And one of those tricks is what I want to show you today, and that's dynamic CSS. Now, dynamic CSS is the ability for us to change a CSS class with values on our page or coming in from a data set like an upload action or a database or something like that. It's a very common thing. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. This is an app here that I've been working on here just for this. And I'll give you a link to this repo. You can go download it down, down in the description below. and allows the user to basically change an image. So I can upload this image of this mountain here. And you can see here the, the image changed. I can upload it to something else. And it just changes. And that's kind of cool. You know, you can also change the text color, for example. So we can come here and get a nice, maybe a yellow green or something like that. That kind of goes with the image a little bit better. And these are all dynamically changed. Now you're probably thinking, hey, anyone can change a source file to an image tag. But what about a background image? Because this is a background image. And background images are notoriously hard to change because of the URL format inside of the CSS. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So in here, this is the style for that card. And we have our background image property here, and it's set up with this variable custom BG. And that is the format that we need to have. And you can also see here, if I don't have a value here, I have a fallback position of images slash BG. Well, you can't normally change that with code because it's back here in the CSS file. And there's lots of workarounds that people have come around with. Well, let me show you what we do here with Blazor apps. So I'm gonna go back to my page here. And this is a custom page component, but it's just basically HTML that you're used to seeing. And you can see here, this is an inline style. And I'm setting that custom variable slash slash custom BG equal to a value in my page model. Now, the way Blazor works is that we have a page model and then we load that up. And the properties on that model are then two-way bound to any property in the page. So that means that if this value here changes in the model and the code behind, it automatically updates the UI. And you can see here, I'm changing this model when I upload a new image. Let me show you again. So if I go here and just change this to maybe these clouds, you can see this changes right off the bat. The image is uploaded. It modifies this property in this model, and then the model changes the property here, this custom BG variable, CSS variable, which in turn changes this custom property here on this class, and it looks dynamic. And the same thing holds true for the colors. So if we want to change the colors to like a license orange, that is also done through the same technique right here. You can see we have a custom um, CSS variable called text color, and that's also set in this style tag right here, equal to one of the properties on our page model. And that's a very powerful technique that we learn in Batata Blazor. And this is an app that we build here in every cohort, um, either in person or online. It's going to be now plain. And this is a Blazor application that you can build. And it goes to the TMDB API. And you can see here, they all have this more info button. And when I click the more info button, you can see the background changes based on what movie has been selected. And you can see it changes every time. Now we got this Mona background for this movie. And if I go to over here and pick something else, I get a different background again. And we're doing that with the same technique. We're modifying a variable and then setting the value of that variable inside of our CSS. And then the two-way binding that's coming in from this route parameter, filling up the model, changes it dynamically. It makes it really easy. And this is a powerful technique that, and other techniques that we teach here um, at Coder Founder. So if you'd like to know more about Coder Founder, our courses, and maybe learn more about our upcoming Blazor self-paced course or take one of our in-person cohorts, just head over to coderfoundry.com. Well, anyway, I hope this helps. Good luck and keep coding.